The following information is provided at the start of each listing video so that potential customers can make an informed decision when considering a hognose snake as a pet. The listing video you are about to see is for a western hognose snake. Hognose snakes are technically a type of mildly venomous reptile, and while their venom is not known to be medically significant to humans, it is important to familiarize yourself with envenomation prevention to avoid any prolonged discomfort from a bite. Hognose snakes must chew their venom into their prey because they lack an effective delivery system. If promptly removed, most bites from a hognose snake will not have any lingering effects other than a few small puncture wounds that quickly heal. The most likely time that a bite will occur is during feeding. Hognose snakes very rarely, if ever, bite defensively. They can get overly excited during feeding time or if they think they are about to be fed, and some overeager individuals will latch onto the first thing they come into contact with, including solid walls. This behavior can be trained out of most snakes with a good feeding routine that they will learn out of habit. Young children should not handle snakes unsupervised. Supervision is to protect both the child handling and the animal being handled. Little hands sometimes don't know their own strength, and snake bones are small, thin, and fragile. Despite these facts, I believe western hognose snakes can and do make amazing pets. If I didn't believe they were worth the time and money, I would not have spent the past five years attempting to breed them. It has been an incredibly enriching experience raising my snakes up from hatchlings into the adults that they are today, and the extreme levels of trust they put in me on a daily basis melts my heart every time. Despite all the trials and heartbreak over the years raising these wonderful creatures, I can honestly say that I am blessed beyond measure to have them. I can only hope whoever ends up with my babies will feel just as blessed with every day they are in each other's presence. Hello everybody, welcome to the first video of the first clutch from 2024. This right here is a little female normal arctic. That means she carries the arctic gene. She is 100% het for Evans hypo, as well as 50% het for lavender, with a very low chance for being possible het sable possible het albino. Her father was a super arctic that was het lavender and possible het sable, possible het albino, with about a 50% chance on both of those. So, and she just popped out, <laughs> get your bet back in there. And uh, there's a chance that she might carry those genes, but I won't know until I try to prove him out in 2025. Anyone who receives any of these babies from uh, the MER 514 clutch, if their father proves out to be carrying um, albino or sable or both. I will inform them down the road. So here we have, uh, this is Mer 514 number 5. This is a little female and she is pretty active. Woo! There we go. I'm just gonna let her out a second. There she is. What a little cutie. They don't like being in this container from what I've noticed. It's not their thing. While I'm here, I don't know, we'll, tr we'll transition to that side in a second. We start out in front of the studio light to try and get their color correct. So you get the first impression, then we move over to these cheaper lights. But uh, they can be mounted on top of cameras, so <clears throat> we have a better idea for uh, the macro lens here. As you can see, she's got a nice defined head pattern. Pretty saddles. She's got some twin spots and regular saddles on her back. Nothing is really dominating the other. Here's a full body view. Actually, let's brighten that up since we're so far away. Come on, baby. There you go. Come on. Why you gotta go outside the hands? There you go. Full body view. Let's get a slightly closer look here. We'll just get this a little down. I gotta adjust the light every time. There's her head pattern. And she's gonna go through my fingers and show you her back pattern as she goes. Let me show you her tail because that is how I visually sexed her. There we go. Come on, camera. Oh, she's not going to cooperate for this. Technically, this is the second time I've shot the video because I forgot to record audio. Okay, now, I need you to flip. 
Okay, there we go. There's her cute little female tail. Justin forgot her belly pattern, dude. Uh, dude. Uh. There you go. I don't know if I'm gonna keep trying to do belly patterns or not because it just gets difficult. There you go. Cute little belly pattern. <laughs> that was like just a flash. <laughs> it was just a flash of what she's got. Yeah, she doesn't want to cooperate. That's okay, little girl. That's okay. Back in front of the studio light. There she is. Mer 514 number 5. Pretty nice colors overall. Not super excitable, at least while I'm handling her. And no special care requirements. There's no, hey, I need to be drop fed. Although we can always change. She'll take food right off the tongs for me. And she's had all of her feedings. Speaking of which, let's just put her down for a second. I'll show the card. Come, on, come here. Can you stay in there a second? No. Oh. Here, don't run off. There's her card. This will probably be shipped. All these cards will be shipped with the babies that they are attached to. So that was Murr, 514, number five. She's a pretty good girl. This is just for size reference. I am 5'11", if that helps anybody, you know, figure it out. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope you uh, will join me in the next ones. Have a good day.